Seth Godin says, people do not buy goods and services, they buy relations, stories, and magic. So I really found that to be true, is so much, every, almost every single purchase out there is done for an emotional reason. Sometimes we, we do it for an emotional reason, but then we try to justify it with logic after, like I, I just bought this new Porsche for gas mileage. Um, may not have been the reason why I bought it, but, uh, but, but I try to justify it later, right? So one thing that, that we talked about today is curiosity. Curiosity is one of those things that adds emotion. Curiosity provides that motivation for people to seek out more. Um, it provides uh, that desire uh, for people to, to seek out your website, to seek out your office, to seek out even meeting with you and talking to you. And yet sometimes we try, we almost kill the curiosity by giving them too much information up front, by giving them all the answers. So um, I, I saw this uh, quote the other day and I just want to read there. It says, the biggest quest to learn anything is curiosity. If you are curious about something, you will go and dig. So if we had people that uh, were going and digging to try to find out about your business, try to find out about your services, the things that you offer, how great would that be? Well, you can do that by adding some little tools in place that will add, make people more curious about what, what you're offering. I uh, have a good friend of mine who was an uh, investigator for the BFRO, the Bigfoot Research Organization. And uh, his job was, if somebody claimed to have seen a Bigfoot, his job was to go meet with them and investigate it to see if, if he believed it was true or not, and then report on it on the BFRO website. And... Uh, so anyway, he and I would have lots of talks. Um, whether or not you believe in Bigfoot or don't believe in Bigfoot or just have a whole lot of fun um, about the excitement and, and around it like I do, I want you to think back and think how much money has spent on this, this subject alone. How many shows have come out in the last 10 years? Um, how, many, uh, uh, how much merchandise, how much shirts, hats, uh, going squatching, uh, all this type of thing that has gone on and put out there, and it's a ton. And all that is based on people's curiosity about the subject, right? So then we come back and say, okay, with whatever product and service you're selling, how do you build that curiosity? How do you you put, put things out there that will make people want to seek you out instead of you always seeking out new customers? So part of that has to do with with stopping yourself from giving too much information, stopping uh, uh, from listing every possible attribute that your service or product provides, right? List a few to whet their appetites, but then provide them the opportunity to seek you out. Um, so um, one of the things that uh, we've looked out there and seen is when people will say, hey, it's it's secret, a secret recipe involved with this. Like uh, when I was growing up, the the sauce on the Big Mac, the special sauce was a secret recipe that, that you know that people would try to find out about but it made you more curious that hey this one has a special ingredient something special that that the other places don't have right um, even they used to talk about the secret recipe behind coca-cola and how it was in a in a vault somewhere protected or whatever but it made people want to seek that out whenever you can add something that says there's a limited amount of people that can be there anything that you can say uh, that that only a few will know the details, but even some of the other things, we have a, a amusement park around here, and almost every year they have a big sign that says something like, something big and dangerous is coming, or, you know, uh, something along those lines, talking about some new ride, where it starts to creep in and, and, and they start to build that curiosity. They don't tell what the ride is, they don't talk about that until it gets closer. They want people to start start thinking, start start looking forward to to this thing coming out. So um, I think the balance that you have to provide there and provide the information is you want just enough information, not more, but just enough to motivate, just enough to get people to call, just enough to get them to, to look at your website and to, to try to read more about what your offer is. The cool thing about that is when it's an effort on their that they put out, they become invested. They become excited about what your company provides, your product or service. And, and that is so much better than dealing with people that 
you know, you might you might get them to sign on the line, but they don't know if they care or not about what what your company provides. So my challenge to you is is to to create this 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 pool is to start looking and saying how can I build the curiosity? How can I put things out there? What else can I say or do in my marketing that is just enough to build curiosity? Um, I guarantee you that this will work, and this is our point of view.